Hello all, welcome. In this video, we will see how request processing, response processing and error handling can be used in API Gateway. Request processing policies are used to specify how the request message from an application must be transformed or pre-processed. This is required to protect the data and to accommodate the differences between the message content that an application can submit and the message content that a native API expects. The policies included in this stage are Invoke Web Methods Integration Server Service, Request Transformation, Validate API Specification, Data Masking and Custom Extension. For request processing, let us edit our Rapid Store API and we can click on Request Processing and click on Invoke Web Methods IS. So in case of Invoke Web Methods IS Service, we could add a Web Methods IS Service this can be any service that complies with IS specification pub.apigateway.invokeisservice.specifications. We can also add web methods IS service alias. The next one is request transformation. Request transformation can be used and we can configure multiple conditions. We can use AND or OR combination and then click on add condition. In the condition we can use any variable for example if I want to use any header variable let's say I click on headers and then I can say content type equals application slash JSON. Then I want to modify the header to let me open it in full screen so it's easier. Content type to application slash JSON plus stream. We could also optionally remove any headers that we want to remove before sending it to the native service. We can also do method transformation. And then the next one is payload transformation. In payload transformation, we can select the payload type and then we can update with the new payload that we want to send to the native service. We can also do XSLT transformation by adding XSLT transformation alias. And then in the advanced transformation, we have option to again invoke a web methods IS service by specifying the IS service name or by specifying the IS service alias. And then we have the transformation metadata which specifies the metadata for the transformation of incoming request. Let me minimize this. And then the next one is validate API specification. When we use validate API specification, we could provide a schema for validation or we could validate any of the incoming query parameter or path parameter, cookie parameter, etc. When we specify HTTP header in validate API specification, we can add a specific header key and header value which we want to validate. The next two options are data masking and custom extension. These are covered in detail in separate sections for data masking and custom policy extension. Response processing policies are used to specify how the response message from an API must be transformed or pre-processed. This is required to protect the data and to accommodate differences between the message content that an API can submit and the message content that an application expects. The policies included in this stage are Invoke Web Methods Integration Server Service, Request Transformation, Validate API Specification, Course, data masking and custom extension. Now let us take a look at response processing. Response processing also has similar options which is invoke web methods IS service but in this case the validation or the response is processed instead of the request. That is the response that is coming from the native service is manipulated before sending it to the application. Again we can invoke an IS service to do the manipulation on the response or we could add response transformation step where we can have multiple conditions that is we can modify the headers that is coming from the native service. We can manipulate the status say for example we want to manipulate 201 to 200 or something like that we could do that using the status transformation. Payloads can also be transformed and we can add XSLT transformation as well and the metadata information of the responses coming from the native service can also be transformed using the transformation metadata. We also have the validate API specification in response processing where we can do schema validation or content type validation or HTTP header validation. In response processing we also have cores. Core supports secure cross-domain requests and data transformations between browsers and web servers. Core standard works by adding new HTTP headers that allow servers to describe a set of origins that are permitted to read that information. In cores, we can add response headers 
in response headers we can add allow origins allow origin specifies the origin from which the response originating or allowed we can also use regular expressions here in allow origins and we can add multiple values by clicking on plus symbol in allow headers we can specify the headers that are allowed in the response we also have expose header which provides the information that can be exposed to the user under failure when we click on allow credentials the credential information will be visible for the user in case of failures we can also add list of allowed methods such as get put post or delete and then the max age specifies the age for which the pre flight response is valid error handling policy helps to specify the error condition and to determine how the error conditions can be processed the policies included in this stage are conditional error processing data masking and custom extension the next block is error handling here we have conditional error processing data masking and custom extension let us take a look at conditional error processing any number of conditional error processing steps can be included and in a step we can have multiple conditions for example we can say when http status code is 500 i want to send http status code as 401 for this is for example and then we can also set some failure message we can set a standard failure message by clicking on this failure messages text json or xml or we can send native provider fault message we can also do some post processing using xslt transformations and transformation of uh, error response metadata is also possible in this video we have seen how to configure and use request processing response processing and error handling policies thank you for listening to this session